Are you looking an online school where you can learn, understand, and enjoy the beauty of advanced mathematics? Or have you been troubling yourself that you have the vision that need the knowledge of advanced mathematics and possibly that you have never found a place that can help you? The answer of those questions and even other ones that I didn't mention, you can get them into, uh, in, in, in this program. How are you, everybody who is watching this fantastic video? I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the national and international students, uh, just we call registered and unregistered national and international students who would like to take advantage of this program. My name is Ole Jolai Mokota Yellow Single, simply just call me Ole Jolai. I thank God by his own grace, he has built in me the gift of teaching. But also I thank God by his own grace, he has built in me a gift of mathematics. I love so much mathematics since I met with it, or since I was thinking about it before even I began my primary education, mathematics had been built in my mindset. So I will be combining those two gifts uh, and natural talents that God has given me in order to help you to in order to help you be transformed from one point where you are to the next point. Again, remember that uh, to also it's a home of understanding for all advanced uh, secondary students who are pursuing advanced mathematics uh, or best applied mathematics uh, or advanced uh, physics uh, and advanced uh, chemistry for this moment. But later on, we add up more contents and more subjects as well as we can. So I would like to ask you that to stay tuned and stay connected and you're only welcome and stay focused and be serious because we have a very important information for the rest that will be worth it for the rest of your life. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into one of our online schools that called Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School in square bracket only July M. Simultaneously, we would like to welcome you into one of our official YouTube channels that called the Nanya Online A Level City School in square bracket only July. So you can have so many questions about what are we doing, but simply we are here in order to teach and train advanced secondary students on how they can extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the classroom instruction and combine it with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that will teach them to extract it from the Word of God written in the Holy Bible in order to solve real life problems. The main objective of TOASO, which is abbreviations of the Learning Online Advanced Secondary School in Square Bracket on the July M, is to teach our students on how to solve advanced uh, to solve just you can call them small scale or intermediate scale large scale extraordinary large scale real life problems so the main objective of education is not to give students certificates who succeed to graduate but the main objective is to train people on how they can solve real life problems so in this program we'll be focusing on solving classroom problems and also we'll be challenging you and even open your mindset on how you have to think, uh, you have to think on solving real life problems that mankind are facing in order for you to have meaning and in order to meet the main objective of education. Okay, so you have to pay your concentration. Okay, so it means that uh, as I, 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 I have I've presented to you, we'll be focusing on, on creating uh, the video contents on teaching and training, mentoring, and even guiding uh, advanced secondary students in order for them to achieve their destiny. So, um, at this moment, I would like to just navigate with you about what uh, I have prepared for you in order for you to take advantage. Welcome into the Departments of Advanced Mathematics. In the Departments of Advanced Mathematics, we'll be teaching you four advanced subjects. The first one is Advanced Mathematics Form 5, Advanced Mathematics Form 6, Basic Applied Mathematics Form 5, and Basic Applied Mathematics Form 6. So we have basically four subjects that we'll be teaching you. And welcome into the, today we'll be teaching you the subject called Advanced Mathematics and this contents is for the pre-form 60 or form 60 or QT 
or receivers or teachers or ordinary diploma students. For the advanced D, uh, for the Form 60 students uh, who will be focusing on the recombination, PCM, PMC, uh, EGM, and the also PGM. So you have PCM, PGM, PMC, and EGM. Those combinations are given in most countries of African or of African countries and even worldwide. So when you say that in M or uh, in all the four combinations stand for what in advanced in mathematics. So <coughs> we are in chapter one of coordinate geometry. In this subject, we will teach you ten and uh, eight chapters. This is the first chapter. Uh, and then this is session nine. We have taught you more than 10 sessions, which is session more than nine sessions. Yes, more than nine sessions from session zero to session eight. And this session eight, nine is stated as a question of tangent and normal to a parabola. So again, I'll let's spend uh, at least one minute uh, just to speak with new students. New students, you're warmly welcome if you join me. In our official YouTube channel, you can access all our previous content. So you have met, you have not missed it, any content. So this is session nine. We still have some more other videos of, of coordinate geometry two and even other seven chapters of advanced mathematics in form 16. So uh, in order for you to access, just to visit it into our official uh, YouTube channel, but that will not be enough. We are always updating or we are always adding new contents, uh, at least one video in a day, or it can be at least minimum, maximumly, we can add at least one video in a day. And that is maximum. Maximum, we can add at least one video in a day. And minimally, whatever the case that will happen, uh, we add at least one video, at least two videos in a week, at least three videos in a week. So you can expect seven videos maximumly and minimally three videos in a week. So for you, in order to get notification from our official YouTube community, we ask you to register yourself by subscribing into our official YouTube channel. So remember that in session eight, we shared to you a few steps that you have to follow for you to register yourself, but simply just click the button straight and subscribe then the text will change from subscribing to subscribing and the icon of the bell will appear on the right hand side beside the icon beside the button and then click the icon of bell then you will see three options choose the options of all so from there you will receive notification whenever that we add a new video another thing that we like to insist in if you would like to add benefit on the contents that we are creating in Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School in Square Bracket or in July M, we ask all our students to remember to, to visit our uh, or to be online, uh, just to visit the, uh, to visit our official YouTube channel every day as well as you can and you can make a plan that maybe today you have to cover session nine, then tomorrow you have to cover session 10, etc. etc. as well as you can. So let us go into the today's session. So do you remember what you have taught you in session eight? So if you have completely forgotten, let me spend a few minutes just to do a quick review of session eight. So in session eight, we have taught you about condition for a line to be a tangent to the parabola. So that's what, the, that's what we have taught you. So we have talked about condition for a straight line to be what? To be tangent to what? To a parabola. Okay? This is for advanced secondary student and ordinary diploma because there is a similarity of this. So as I say that session nine is also covered in, in ordinary diploma of different programs in engineering and science. So that's why that when I'll be teaching and first secondary students, this content also will be benefiting ordinary diploma students in most institutions, colleges, or universities in the United Republic of Tanzania or in Africa worldwide. Uh, these contents are covered in third year of ordinary diploma, right? That we call the NTA level six. We have a module or a subject or a course that called the coordinate geometry 
and the differential equation or in some of the institutions like the Islam Institute of Technology, it's called the Connex section, it means it's called the Connexity and Differential Equation. At Afshia Technical College, it's called the Coordinate Geometry and the Differential Equation. So what we are teaching you, uh, what we are teaching advanced secondary students is what also we are responsible to teach ordinary diploma students. We have also a special official YouTube channel or a special online institution that we are teaching ordinary diploma students that called the Online Diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania in square bracket or lecturer. Right? So condition for a line to be tangent. So if you do remember that, we will be focusing that the standard equation of the parabola is y squared is equal to 4ax. And the second standard equation of the uh, of the line is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, then we, we, we focus, it means that if you do remember that we drew, okay, we drew out, we drew the parabola. Okay, suppose that this is our parabola. This is the parabola. Okay, so this is what y squared is equal to 4ax. Okay, and then we have a certain straight line. It's a certain straight line. So this is straight in straight line. Y is equal to mx plus what? Plus c. So the condition for the line to be tangent to the parabola is a over m. Then we talked about parametric equation. Parametric equation of parabola. So we gave you two parametric equations of parabola. The first one is x is equal to a t squared. And the second parametric equation is y is equal to 2 a t. Okay, so we can define that the point of tangents, should you remember, the point of tangents. Point of tangents, which is x comma y, this is equal to what? a t squared comma 2 a t, by the point of tangents. Okay, so if that the case, today let us focus on what our uh, equation of tangent and normal trade parabola. So we say that form of what? Form of equation, question of question of tangent, form of question of tangent, and normal and normal to a parabola. Form of equation of tangent and normal to a parabola. So you say that in geometry, in coordinate geometry, there are two forms of what? Of equation of tangent line, tangent and normal line to a parabola. There are two forms. These are the first one is called the partition. Partition form. And the second form is called the parametric, parametric form. So you have Cartesian form of equation of tangent and normal to the parabola, and also you have parametric form of equation of tangent and normal to a parabola. So in this session, we'll be focusing on the parametric form of 
equation of tangent and the normal to a parabola. So we'll be focusing on parametric equation parametric equation of tangent and normal to the parabola. equation of tangent and normal line to a parabola. So we'll be following some steps on writing it. Let us start with parametric equation of tangent. Okay, we'll be focusing on both, but let us start with the first step. Sketch the tangent line, the tangent and the normal line and parabola. And parabola. So parabola and parabola. So in order to sketch, you say that the standard equation, okay, so let me sketch it and then we focus on derivation. This is parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. y squared is equal to 4ax. So suppose that this is the point of tangents. And then support that this is a regular line. So this is tangent line. And this is normal line. This is normal line. And this is parabola. Just to remind you, parabola. And this is figure, this is figure 9, So remember that this is x axis. We have something called the focus here which is a common zero, we have vertex C, and this the point of tangent, which is with P, and the point of tangent is given as parametric form a t square comma two a t. So we have two lines, which is normal line and the tangent line. Normal and tangent line. Okay. 
So that the first is the, the second state. The second step, uh, we say that you have to remember, we call that the standard equation of what? Of, of, of a line, of straight line, of tangent. Of parabola, that's the best thing that you have to focus on. Of parabola is y square is equal to 4 ax. So you have y square is equal to 4 ax. So in this equation we can find. So remember that at 20 p the gradient of the tangent line is equal to the gradient of the curve but it's not equal to the gradient of the normal line okay so another thing that okay so that uh, okay so this one so let us focus on what the parametric equation because you wanted to show you parametric equation remember that tangent line is perpendicular to the normal line. So parametric equation, parametric equation of tangent line. So this is the relation relation You recall the standard equation of parabola, which is y square is equal to 4ax. And then let me teach you the few steps that you have to follow on the derivation of what? Of tangent line. Of tangent line to a parabola. So the relation of tangent line to parabola. Okay. So the third step. The third step. We say that find it. Find the slope of a parabola, which is the curve, at twenty p which is given as a t square on the figure 9.1 comma 2 18. So how can we find the slope of the parabola? So it'll be given y square is equal to 4 a x. We have differentiate on both sides. So we have differentiate the given equation. So suppose that this is equation 1, differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. So on the left hand side we have d the x of y square and on this side we have d the x of 4 a x. So if we differentiate on this side we have 2y dy dx is equal to what? So 4 a is constant. If we differentiate x with respect to x, the answer is 1. So this one is equal to 4 a. So is that the case? We have 2y dy dx is equal to 4a. So divided by 2y and here divided by 2y. So dy dx is equal to what? Is equal to 2a of what? Of y. So say that slope of the parabola 
which is equal to the slope of the curve at P, which is 80 square comma 280. So you say that change in y over change in x is equal to slope of the tangent line, which is equal to 2a over 280. So this one and this one cancel is equal to 1 over t. So the y the x is equal to slope of the tangent line which is equal to 1 over t, and this is question 2, okay? That the slope of the time of the parabola at point P, where which this point P is called tangent point, tangent point, or point of tangents. So tangent point or point of tangents. That is all about the third step. So you go to the fourth step. So the first step, you have to recall the concepts of finding equation of a straight line, where we know its gradient, okay, where we know its gradient, and also we, we know, so remember that, huh? so this is a, uh, so I think that here I've written something which is not, so slope of the parabola, is it? This is the slope of the parabola. Okay, so before we go into the dive into the first state, we can we have to say this. This is not okay. So you say that slope, which is equal to the gradient of the parabola at point of tangent, which is P, and this point P it is 80 square comma 218, is always is equal to a slope or gradient, gradient of a straight line, of the straight Of the tangent line, okay, of the tangent tangent line at point P, which is 80 square comma 280. So gradient of the parabola is equal to the slope of the tangent line. So this one is equal to 1 over T. Okay. So from there we can go into the first step. So we say that let us find the equation of the tangent line. Find the equation of tangent line, which will be parametrically of tangent line passes at point P, which is 80 square comma 280. So please, you can pause the video and copy this part. So to find, so remember that from the concepts of the slope of the tangent, which is equal to slope, this is equal to change in y over change in x. So slope of the tangent is 1 over t is equal to it. Or simply can say that slope of the tangent line is equal to it. Change in y, so you have to choose a beta point which is point Q, which is x comma y. So this point x comma y will be at any point along the tangent line, which is y is equal to mx plus c. 
So this will be y, so the change in y will be y minus what? The coordinate 4.p minus 2a t. And also the other one will be x minus what? So x minus a t squared. So this is equation 2. Okay, so remember that this is slope is equal to slope of the parabola, slope of the tangent line, that is equal to slope of parabola. So remember that you say slope of the tangent line is equal to slope of the tan. Okay, so let me just clearly define here, avoid confusion. Slope of the tangent line, which we call it this one, this is equal to, so remember that slope of the tangent line. So this is equal to the slope of the parabola, and it's equal to that. So let us get into the fifth state. The fifth state, we say that substitute it. Substitute equation two into equation one. So substitute equation two into equation one. So this will make 1 over t is equal to y minus 2 a t. And here we have x minus a t squared. So let us cross multiplication. So in cross multiplication, 1 minus 1 times, so it will be 1 times x minus a t squared. This is t times y minus 2 at. So 1 times x is x. 1 times a t squared is a t squared. Is equal to what? t times y is t y. Then t times 2 a t is 2 a t squared. Okay? So you can bring these parameters on the left hand side. So the equation of the tangent line is x minus a t squared minus t y plus 2 a t squared is equal to 0. So ladies and gentlemen, this is correction 40. This is correction, correction of homework 8, which the question asks you to sh show that the equation of the tangent line is given by this, or you can change the sign, negative sign. Okay? So we have similar, so negative 80 square plus 280 square, the answer is 80 square. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we say that parametric equation, because there are parametric equation, parametric equation tangent line, keep this in your mind, tangent line to a parabola because you can have parametric equation of tangent line to an ellipse, to a cycle, to hyperbola. So parametric equation of a tangent line, parametric equation of the tangent line to a parabola is is what x minus not my yes minus t y so it is x minus T Y then plus eighty. This is equal to zero. We have only three terms. Let me check. Yeah. Check. Yeah, but the question.
equation of 40 of the tangent line. This is parametric equation of the tangent line to a parabola. It's this one. So you have to remember this equation for the rest of your life in coordinate geometry and also in advanced mathematics and even later on, we'll be focusing in engineering or some undergraduate programs of science. Do you have any question? Do you understand what are we teaching? Please, in case you have any question about the revision of the parametric equation of the tangent line to a parabola, don't hesitate to ask in the comment sections of this video and give us feedback. Use the comment section to give us feedback about what we are teaching you, whether you understand or you didn't understand or what should we improve in order to make sure that we provide reliable and the helpful contents for all levels of advanced secondary students. Okay, so that is all about the revisions of 40 of the equation of the tangent line to a parabola. So B, let, let me teach you about the, uh, how you can do a revision, revision of 40 of normal line, revision of normal, the revision of normal line, the revision of normal line to a parabola. Revision of normal line to a parabola. What is normal line? Tangent line is a line that touches a parabola at only one point. So what is, so the simple question, uh, this is kind of question one. What is normal line? What is normal line? So simply say that a normal line, what is normal line? To a curve like parabola. So what is normal line? So the simple definition that a normal, a normal line to a parabola is a perpendicular line is a perpendicular line to a parabola, the perpendicular line to the perpendicular line to the tangent line to a parabola to the parabola. So simply, we say that a normal line, tangent line, or a normal line, so simply we say that the normal line is perpendicular. Is perpendicular to, to the tangent line. To the tangent line to a parabola. So these are perpendicular lines. So that the interaction point of normal line. So how can you derive it? So we'll be following these steps. The first step, recall the formula. So remember that both normal and perpendicular line passes through the point of tangents or the point P. So recall the formula of gradient of slope or finding slope of perpendicular lines, which we taught you in coordinate geometry one, coordinate geometry one. So what did you teach you? 
we say that slope of the tangent line multiplied by slope of the normal line multiplied by the slope of the normal line this is equal to negative one so this will make equation what okay so here we had another equation this is equation three so this will be equation four That is question four. So you go into the, the second step. We call question two above. We simply question two the slope of the tangent line is equal to one over t. We have taught you how we find this at the point in P. Do you enjoy the derivations in parabola? Tell me in the comment sections if you do enjoy this content. Okay. So from that, so it means that we call equation this one and substitute. So the equation four is what? Slope of the normal line times slope of the tangent line is equal to negative one. What is slope of the normal line? Slope of the normal line times slope of the tangent line is one over t is equal to negative one. So this is what the slope of the normal line tangent line t is equal to negative 1. So slope of the normal line multiplied by t to both sides. So this is negative t. So this will make equation 5. So the third step, now we can find the parametric equation of the normal line. Find parametric equation of what? Of normal line. Find the parametric equation of normal line. So how we find it? So we say that slope of normal line is equal to slope of normal. And this is equal to negative t. This will be equal to the change in y of a change in x. So let us let a vitally point R, which is x comma y on normal line to, to lie on the normal line. So if that the case, we say that negative t is equal to y minus. So the next step here, we have to cross multiplication. So then we get negative t times x in, or times x in, times open bracket x minus 80 square close bracket is equal to 1 times y minus 18. So negative t times x is negative t x in. The negative t times 80 square, it is 80 cube, is equal to 1 times y, it is y, and 1 times 280, it is 280. Okay. So this will make negative t x. Then we have what plus 
8 cube is equal to 1 minus what? 2 8. Okay, so the next step, let us bring these contents on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, we have negative tx plus 8t cube minus y plus 2 8t is equal to 0. So that will make your thing the force. So this equation also can be written. So you can bring these two terms on the right hand side. So if you bring these two terms on the right hand side, so the equation will be positive tx minus at cube. If you bring on this side, then we have plus y minus 2 at is equal to zero. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the parametric equation of 40 of a normal line to a parabola. So the parametric the parametric equation of a normal line to a parabola parametric equation to the parabola is t x minus a t cube then plus y then minus 2 a t is equal to 0. So this is the response. That the response. So you have to remember this equation because it's very important in coordinate geometry too. Do you understand the concept that, or the two derivations that you have made? In case you have any question or you didn't understand any point, don't just stay to yourself asking me questions in the comment section. All right? Okay. So before I end this session, I would like to teach you at least a few examples. I like to teach you a few examples that a few classroom examples of the question of the tangent line and normal line. Are you ready for that? So in this session, I will not talk about Cartesian equation of the tangent line and the parametric and what and the normal line. So ladies and gentlemen, let me present uh, example 17, which is a simple question if you understand. And it's a question of derivation, show that show that equation of the tangent line. So this, the two equations, the parametric equation of the tangent line to a parabola is taught, the concepts of parametric equation of the tangent line to a parabola is taught to advance the secondary students who are pursuing advanced mathematics from six. And also the same concept is taught to ordinary diploma students who are pursuing different engineering programs and science, different engineering and science programs at university level. So that is the concept you have to remember. We are not overdosing the ordinary diploma student. We are giving them what you, what you have been asked by the curriculum of not to teach NTA level six, or we call it National Technical Award, uh, uh, level six, which is 30 year of ordinary diploma student, all right? So even the examples that we are going to teach you, we used to teach us ordinary diploma. That's why that I've combined the two sessions in one. I've combined the session nine and a certain number of the lecture for uh, 40 for ordinary diploma students. So ordinary diploma students don't ignore any piece of this information, all right? Show that 
the equation show that equation of the tangent to the parabola show that equation of the tangent show that the equation of the tangent to a parabola y square is equal to 4x at 20 at 20x1 comma y1 is y times y1 is equal to 2a then we have x plus x1 that is that the question So you have to show that the equation of the tangent to a parabola y square is equal to 4ax at x1, y1 is y, y1 is equal to 2ax plus x1. So we have to show solution. So you have two, you have two alternative or two methods of solving the same problem. If you re if you remember the parametric equation of what of tangent line to a parabola, then you can use it because the point instead of two eighty instead of eighty square comma two eighty two eighty then it's given as x one comma y one. All right. So that so so if you remember that equation, you may use it. But in case you don't remember it, show that the equation of the time to the parabola is that one, okay? But in case that you don't remember the parametric equation of the tangent line, you can solve by using this technique. So the first step, I think this is the best way because this technique will avoid you from craving. This is the home of understanding. I use, I fail totally to claim advanced mathematics or to proclaim basic engineering scientific mathematics because here I'm teaching two subjects, advanced mathematics for the form six and basic engineering scientific mathematics in for ordinary diploma. And the module or course we call it conics and the differential equation. So the first is the first is they say that uh, find it. find the slope of tangent line. Okay, which is they got the slope of the parabola. So slope of the tangent line, we told you, they got the slope of the parabola. So it means that we have to find it. How we find it? We'll be given the equation, the general equations of parabola, which is y squared is equal to 4kx. So to find its equation, or to find its gradient, which is slope of the tangent, is equal to slope of the parabola. This is equal to derivative of what if we differentiate both sides, left hand side and right hand side of the equation. So with rest with respect to x. So simply on this side we have what 2y dy dx is equal to what? Is equal to 4a. So divide by 2y. So this is the repetition of what you've done. So you say the slope of the tangent line is equal to what? Is equal to 2a over 1. So then the next step, let us find the slope of the tangent line. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So we go for the second state. Second state, let us find gradient of the tangent and also over the tangent line at the given point x1, y1. So we say that slope of the tangent line is equal to what we found is equal to 2a over y. So this is 2a over y1. So ladies and gentlemen, the slope of the tangent line, which is equal to 2a over y1, this is question 1. Okay? So what do you want to show the question of the tangent line? So you go into the third step. So we know the tangent. So the third step, we say that let us find the equation of what? Of tangent line. So to find the equation of the tangent line, we have to let another point, which is Q, which is x comma y. So from there, we say that slope now is equal to changing y over changing x. So this one is equal to what? y minus y1, which is point of tangents. So remember that this is the point of tangents. So remember that x1, y1 is the point of tangents. That's the point of tangents. So y minus y1, this is x minus x1. So what is the slope of the tangent line? Slope of the tangent line is 2a over y1 is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. So from there, we have to simplify. We have to cross multiplication. When you cross multiplication, 2a times this one, it is x minus x1. This is equal to y1 times y minus y1. So this will make it 2ax minus 2ax1 is equal to what? y1 y minus y1 squared. At the equation of 40 of the tangent line. So the next step we have to simplify. That will be the first step. First step is simplify. Let us simplify 2ax minus what? 2ax minus 2ax1, which is equal to what? To y1 times y minus y1 squared. So you have to simplify the expression in the form that required. So to simplify, we say that I think that this is the part that the mistake from copying this question. Okay, let us simplify until the end. So here we have 2ax minus 2x1 is equal to y times y minus y1 squared. So on left hand side we have y, y1. So let us make this a subject. So we have 2x minus 2x1 plus y1 square is equal to y1, y. Alright? So on the left hand side we have y times y1 is equal to 2x, x minus x1 plus y1 square. So you can find that what you found is quite different from what we have been given. But we are mathematicians, we have to we have to concentrate on the principles and laws that governing mathematics. 
So we have been asked to show this at the question of the parabola of the tangent light ray parabola at this point of tangent is this one. So left hand side is fine, but the right hand side is quite different from what from what we've been given. So we have to comment. So what we have been given is not correct. So whenever we find this in mathematics, we are allowed to comment. Okay, so what's your comment? So you say that the equation of the tangent line, equation of the tangent line to the parabola y square is equal to 4ax point of tangent which is x1 comma y1 is not y times y1 is equal to what is equal to 2 a x plus x1 but it is But it is what y times y1 is equal to 2a x minus x1 plus y1 squared. So this is the final response. So whenever you meet with this kind of a scenario, then you have to deal with problems like in this way. All right? Did you understand? So sometimes you might find that the given question is not correct itself. You should not worry. Follow the principles, follow the steps in order to deduce what is correct. You should not lie. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I think that right now I've told you uh, more than three concepts and I've given you the overview of how questions of tangent and normal line are asked. Right now, I would like to give you the homework. The homework that you have to practice yourself. This is homework nine and this is example 18. So example 18 of coordinating geometry or of parabola. So make sure that you solve this question before we meet in the next session. Find the points on the Find the points on the parabola y square is equal to 8x, where Roman 1 tangent is parallel to the line, this one. Tangent is parallel. What? So tangent is parallel to the line to x plus y to x plus y is equal to 1. Roman 2. The normal is parallel. So then find a point whereby the normal is is parallel to line to x plus y is equal to one.
That's the question. Find the prints on the parable. Y square. So, the meaning of having prints. Find more than one print. So, you have a print for Roman A and a print for Roman B. So, find what? Find the prints on the parabola y squared is equal to 8x, where tangent line is parallel to the line 2x plus y is equal to 1, and where the normal is parallel to line 2x plus y is equal to 1. So make sure that you try your level best in order for you to make sure that you cover the contents or you cover the means you practice the concept of tangent line and normal line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of session nine, which I've been teaching you about tangent, the parametric equation of the tangent and normal line to a parabola. So I invite you in session 10, where I will be solving problems, which are stated as problem solving, where we'll be focusing on intermediate and conceptual questions of what of parametric equation, uh, parametric equation of the tangent and normal to the parabola. So join me, don't miss it. Uh, I'm expecting to meet you. If you are ordinary diploma students, also meet, meet me in the next lecture where I will be focusing or where I will be teaching you on problem solving of 40, problem solving of parametric equation of the tangent and normal line. So, my dear student, this is the end of this session. I would like to present to you a few announcements for you to be aware. The first announcement, I would like to invite you uh, into TOASO. To TOASO is the Professions of Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School, and this we call the uh, Free Willing Thanksgiving Moment. So you may offer your free incense giving in order to support the running cost for this program that actually that is impacting your life, all right? So the thing, uh, or it means that you may send your free incense giving of any amount, even 50 Tanzania shillings, 100 Tanzania shillings to US dollar or 100 US dollar or 10,000 US dollar or maybe 1 million Tanzania shillings that will be used effectively in order to support the two online school. One, it, in order to support Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School, uh, and also to support uh, Online Diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania for Ordinary Diploma, right? That in Square Bracket College So you may send your free link sense giving through that telephone number, which is 0759745331. Right? So that's the point that you have to remember. So that's what we call the science giving. The word of faith is from the book of Exodus 25, verse 1 to 9. That is instructions that have been given by the Lord who lives forever and ever. And in case you have so many questions, why should you offer? That the good questions. We have a vision of recording more than 600 high definition video that will be teaching advanced the secondary students. It's very expensive to prepare even one video, but the thing that I want to let you know is actual that you have to make sure that you offer in order to be a part of this program or in order to support everything or support the vision of this program, uh, which should be achieved as well as we can. And a second announcement that we have for you, which is very important for you, we'd like to welcome you into Tanzania Online Advanced Library, where we equip our students with equipment, or we call them tools, which are very important for you. What we have in our online Tanzania Advanced Library. First of all, we equip our students with written notes. This is an exercise book that contains not see for four topics of advanced mathematics in form six. The first one is vector, the second one is corner geometry tool, the third one is probability, which contains probability one and probability two. So three chapters, but one is intensive, which is all about probability. So 
we can make a copy, we used to copy, make a copy of this notes and then we used to provide the notes to our students with only a price, with on, just a very affordable price, which is minimum more than you think. Again, we have reference, we have syllabus book. Whenever we teach advanced secondary students, we have to focus on this advanced mathematics syllabus for advanced secondary education from five and from six, from five to from six. This is the syllabus that we'll be using, and we ask all our students to have it because it will give you guidance what to cover and what not to cover. Again, we have reference textbook. For example, this is pure mathematics one. We have also pure mathematics two. We have also advanced the pure mathematics by J. Tranta. This is by Parkhouse. We have also understanding mathematics. We have also um, advanced mathematics by Chanti. We call it Chan one and Chan two of mathematics. And all of the books, we just equip our students with very affordable price, very minimum price. So we can get this book, for example, Pure Mathematics 1, with only a price of 30 Tanzania shillings, and also the same price with Pure Mathematics 2, and the same price with Pure Advanced Mathematics by J. Tranta, right? So we recommend these books at least for the beginners or for the students who love advanced mathematics. Finally, we have also, not finally, uh, we have also question and answers books or problems and solutions books that we recommend to our students, right? So on my right hand side, we have a book called The Advanced Mathematics One Review Problems and Solutions uh, of 2003 to 2018. Also, we have Advanced Mathematics Two Review Problems and Solutions from 2003 to 2018. These are past papers books for every Tanzanian advanced secondary students who would like to master advanced mathematics. We use these books and even in the next session, which will be session 10, we'll be referring advanced mathematics too, because coordinate geometry too, it's a one of the topic that contributing questions in advanced mathematics in paper two. So you can order this book with a very minimum price of only, because right now of only 20,000, 17,000. Yes, I didn't check out the price, but at this moment, is this is seventeen thousand, and this one, you can order it with the price of seventeen thousand. But there is a change of, uh, of the price of the books in the most of, uh, wholesale book sales. So we can update you. Be aware with any updates. How you can order these books again? Finally, every advanced secondary students who is. who is pursuing advanced mathematics should have original scientific calculator. You may order this original scientific calculator and we can ship it to you with the very minimum affordable price. All right? So you can order it in. This one we have Casio, function 981. We have number one and number two. The price for the number one, the previous price, is only 55 Tanzania shillings. And for the number two, is only 35 Tanzania shillings. So, in case you want to order anything, any material from Tanzania Online Advanced Library or from online diploma, uh, from online diploma library, right? From online, online diploma uh, library of Tanzania, then you may send your, it means that your order through this telephone number 0759745331. So in case you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and give us feedback whether you understand our content. So may God bless you and keep you until we meet in the next session. This is all the July from Tanania. I'm expecting to meet you with your friends, with your classmates of advanced secondary education or ordinary diploma students in the next session, which will be session 10. So may God bless you and keep you until we meet in the next session. Remember, the next session will be separated. I will teach honorary diploma according to the year. <clears throat> I will teach honorary diploma themselves on problem solving and also of what equation of tangent and normal to the line. And I will teach advanced secondary students uh, on the problem solving of question of question of the tangent and normal line. So may God bless you. Until we meet in the next session, 
Keep enjoying advanced mathematics.